we're going to install this radiator. Now, this is in a third floor annex, so we wanted to use a small radiator because we had to carry it up here. It's also a converted radiator. It used to be steam, and we converted it to hot water. We drilled and tapped our later, and we still have a, a spot over here that we need to plug. And this used to be a half inch. We drill that and open that up to three quarters. And here's our wet supply load. And here's our other. Now I'm going to use stuff that's commonly accessible to you. And um, hopefully you have one of these from your own radiator. Y'all yeah, know. Because although this is, you're able to take this off because they are practically useless. Um, and you absolutely don't need them. Um, but they are hard to get out, especially if you don't heat them up. And if you do, you can cause a leak over here. So, we're going to leave that in place. And we already have this one, which was half inch, which came out easy. So, what I'm going to do now is I made sure my pipes are connected into the system, and they are. I've done that by opening up the drain from the boiler and making sure that air was flowing through and sucking back on to the basement, and it does. So, what I'm going to do now is I just have some fittings. I'm going to start putting those together and see if I can get things lined up. We're also going to be using some copper because it's the best do-it-yourself uh, way to install uh, a radiator. And we're not going to do any threading of pipe or anything. Okay, let me show you where I'm at with this radiator. Um, right now, I have a uh, street elbow. This is a one inch street elbow. I'm going to have to get that reduced on to um, one inch, and I might have to run and get an elbow for that. But I have a regular valve in here. Um, it's a lot better than this round in your mouse. And uh, another three corner straight down into the old round in your fitting. That's where I'm at on that side. On this side, um, I just have a three corner coming out with a union to a regular mole mouth. And then we'll have to get over to this one inch, which we'll have to reduce that side also. Which we probably will do with a uh, uh, maybe a stream. I'm not sure. We'll see if I have to run and get any more parts. So that's where we're at on this one. Mainly, it's just lining things up right now. Now on this side, what I'm probably going to do is hook it up, slide the radiator position, and I might add a little piece of copper in here just to make it easy. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, on this radiator we're installing, uh, we might have the right size, we might not. So I'm not sure. If we don't, um, I'm finishing this up and getting out of here. So I'm just going to put some copper in there and sweat it up. But anyway, we have a, a nubble a 1 inch 90, another 1 inch nipple, inch to 3 quarter, 3 quarter straight elmo, 3 quarter straight elmo, 3 quarter straight, and our fitting from the right here. On this side, we have just a 3 quarter inch hole, which we tap and uh, thread in, uh, drill and thread in, because this used to be a uh, steam radiator, so we just went with the regular, a nipple, three-quarter union, three-quarter three nipple, valve, three-quarter nipple, 
inch to three quarter of an inch here and one inch to three nama into the pine mat. And that's basically what it is right now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten on this up and I can open up and we're going to see what happens when we uh, bring all the threads together and see what we have to do over here. This is the process of doping those up and screwing them together. No real rough and smooth here. Just try not to use. Your, uh, try not to aim anything while you're doing it. Oh, geez, the correct master. Always make sure before you put your union together that you're, you don't forget this piece. I've done that so many times. Hopefully I'll never do it again and hopefully you never do it at all. And this right here will have a nice full well. We don't need those red ear valves. They're not good. Okay, we're... Things are starting to come together for us. Of course, that union will come apart again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And as soon as I get this side together, we'll go ahead and look at the other side and see what we need to do to make that happen. And we'll go from there. Okay, I'll see you back here in a little bit. I'm just going to do the same thing, dump these up. Get this all back together. Okay, this radiator's in. Um, you can see what I did over here. I put the two pieces of copper in there and um, kind of made a custom piece in there. We could have got a piece of black iron fit, but I kind of wanted to finish it up today. And once it's all painted silver, you'll never notice. So, there you have it. Do it yourself, radiator install. Um, we're up on the third, up on the third floor, so, uh, it's okay for up here. If it was on the second, um, we probably would have used a bigger radiator and made it fit better, but consider we had to carry it. Uh, we use a small one and pipe it in just like this. So you have it. Do it yourself for any inner installation. There's your valve. Union. Union. Hope that helps you.